Oh, we're getting a bite. We're getting a bite. I think we're getting a bite. Yeah, we got a bite. Whoa, what is that? Uh, maybe it's a turtle. But we're getting a bite, guys. I don't know what it was. Oh, Lord. We got a bite. Yeah, it's like a fish. Welcome back to the channel guys. You're watching the more fishing. My name is Mo and this is 10 fishing hacks and tips specifically for kayak fishing. So let's get into it. All right guys, so the first tip I wanna give you is please do not overload your kayak guys. You need to be aware of the weight limit on your kayak. I have a kayak that has a 550 pound limit weight. So I'm pretty safe and usually load up a lot of stuff more than I should. But you gotta be aware of how much you kayak holds and don't overload it to the point that you're gonna be risking your life. So just be careful. Make sure you actually load up the right amount of gear that you need. And remember, you know, you gotta know your weight and you gotta subtract that from whatever the capacity of your kayak is and you'll be safe out there. So don't- All right guys, so tip number two, you wanna know the body of water that you're gonna put your kayak in. So you wanna keep in consideration the current or where you're gonna be fishing at and the wind on that day the weather because you want to be safe out there um, one time i put my kayak into a river that i didn't know that was the first time I, I was out there and the current was so strong i could not make it back to the ramp it was so difficult i was paddling as hard as i could i was exhausted i barely made it back uh, but you want to be safe guys so make sure you know the current you know where you're going to be fishing at especially if you're fishing rivers uh, right now we're in a river, but it's a really calm river. There's really not much current. There's a little bit of wind uh, and I'm comfortable being here and actually anchoring. But if you don't know the river or if you're fishing on the surf, you're fishing on the ocean, guys, a rip current can push your kayak super far out there. There have been cases of kayakers being ripped away from shore and being end up 80 miles in and um, you don't want to be that person, guys. So make sure that you know the body of water you're going in. Make sure you check the weather before you go so you don't want to be uh, pushed out by the current or not be able to get back to the ramp where you started at. So that's one of the things you got to keep in mind. Now this next tip, guys, is pretty common sense, but I'll believe me, a lot of people don't listen to this tip and this is really important, guys. This will save your life. So I'm talking about this PDF, guys, personal flotation device. You have to wear it, guys. If you don't have a PDF and you're in the water, you are putting your life at risk 100% because when you kayak fishing, it's not a matter of if you're gonna flip, it's more a matter of when you're gonna flip and you're gonna need your PDF whenever that happens. Now, this is not comfortable, I know, but they sell ones that are really comfortable, they're a little pricey out there. This one's a cheap kind from Academy. Um, but even though it's not comfortable, I have to wear it. I feel like I own that to my family and I wanna be safe out in the water. I don't wanna have a scare where I fall from the kayak and I can't get back or whatever reason it is, guys. So you wanna make sure you wear your PDF now. With that said, you have to make sure the PDF you're wearing is the right size for you because if you don't have the right size, then you might as well don't have anything. And don't keep it as a seat cushion. Don't keep it stored somewhere. Make sure you have it on, guys. I can give you a million reasons why not to wear one because it's uncomfortable, because it makes you hot, because it limits your movement. Uh, whatever, guys. Just wear your PDF. I'm telling you, you rather have it and not need it than need it and don't have it. So with that said, guys, that's another tip. Make sure you wear your PDF. Okay, this next tip, guys, is water. So these super hot summer days can take a toll on you. And if you don't have any water out there, you're going to be in deep, deep trouble. You can either get a heat stroke or be exhausted. You're going to be paddling. You're doing a lot of physical work. You're under that sun all day depending how many hours you're out there but either way guys make sure you bring some water with you you cannot go out there on a kayak fishing trip with no water you want to stay hydrated guys also if you're out there for long enough uh you might want to bring a snack as well you know this might not be the healthiest snacks out there but you bring something that you can eat that's going to keep you full and going to give you energy that way you can actually make it back to the ramp so with that said guys make sure you stay hydrated 
water is important guys you can bring a gatorade if you prefer so but just make sure you're drinking some type of liquid that's going to hydrate you and keep you good that way you don't get a heat stroke in the middle of the water because that would be really really bad and uh, make sure you make it back safe to your family all right guys so if you're new to kayak fishing let me tell you it's not a matter of if you're gonna flip it's more a matter of when you're gonna flip so if you don't have your rods your gear your stuff tether to your kayak you're gonna probably lose it if not you're gonna be diving trying to find it but I'm, i have a couple suggestions for you guys you can get tethers from amazon i'm gonna leave a link in the description there's some tethers that are really nice that it's pretty much like a little like small leash for your rods for your anchors for your paddle that way if you flip you don't lose them uh, but you can also make your own you know get some powder core and a couple uh, clips and you can definitely make your own uh, they are a little pain in the butt, but if you care about your stuff, you care about losing your stuff, uh, I recommend you to go ahead and tether everything to your kayak, guys. So, All right, guys, with that said, if you're tethering everything to your boat, if you have anchors on your boat, there's a lot of ropes around, there's fishing line around. So for, for any reason, you need to cut a line and you need to cut a rope if you flip the boat and you get tangled on one of those lines. You want to make sure you have a cutting uh, device with you knife a pocket knife would be perfect but make sure it's sharp and you can grab it and keep it on yourself okay so i usually keep it here i got my pocket knife here and this is the one i use i will use in the case of an emergency it's just a simple pocket knife and uh i have it on myself all the time just in case i ever flip if, if i ever have a, to cut something in an emergency maybe the current's too strong i gotta cut my anchor off you also make sure you carry a cutting device and this could save your life this next tip is about being aware of your surrounder, guys. So anybody of water, there's gonna be boats, there's gonna be jet skis, there's gonna be other kayakers. So you have to be aware of them and make sure that you uh, know which way they're going. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you to get a horn, uh, one of those horns. You can get an Amazon, I'll leave a link in the description, check them out. And you can buy yourself a horn, that way if you ever have an emergency, if a boat happens to see you and it's going directly to you, you can use the horn. There's also flags that you can put in your kayak, but the main thing is staying aware because I'm telling you, the jet skis, guys, the jet skis are the most dangerous vessel because they're super fast and they come out of nowhere. So you gotta make sure that you can clear the, the path of the jet skis and make sure the boats are not uh, really close to you and make sure that you just be aware of your surroundings so you never get hit and just stay safe in the water so this next tip right here guys i gotta tell you is more about what you're wearing so obviously you gotta wear for the weather that's out there so when it's hot outside i like to wear quick dry clothes and i like to wear long sleeves so i, I wear long sleeves and uh, pants that are quick dry just in case i ever flip i can swim in those clothes and i can go back to my kayak and dry up really quick also wear shoes that i can swim in don't wear uh, big old boots and jeans because definitely you're gonna be in trouble if you get wet if you ever flip you're gonna be in deep deep trouble guys those boots can actually kill you so another thing i don't like to wear is waders i see a lot of people wearing waders while kayak fishing and i think that's dangerous because those things get filled with water and you're going all the way to the bottom guys so yeah you want to wear something comfortable that protects you for the sun if it's hot outside um and you want to wear something that will dry quick so don't wear cotton don't wear jeans don't wear big boots don't be wearing all that stuff because that stuff is going to make it difficult for you to swim if you ever flip the boat so yeah this is what i do i just got a uh, long sleeve I usually wear my hat it'll protect my eyes with glasses also have this thing that covers my face uh, if it's too sunny out there and um my pants so i don't get burned my legs doesn't get burned because you're going to be sitting out there under the sun for a good little bit so you want to make sure that you wear something comfortable and something that is efficient and it will dry quick if you ever get it wet hey guys all the things i'm suggesting you should get or things that you should have when you're out there in the water uh, i got them on amazon and i got all the links for you down in the description if you want to get any of this stuff anything from the pocket knife to the pdf to the the leashes for your rods so everything's on the description guys check out the links uh these are the products that i use uh so go ahead and check them out get yourself something uh that you can use when you're kayak fishing so you'll be successful and stay safe last tip i'm gonna give you guys is be safe and have fun see you in the next one